<laughs> I was such a bad boy. Santa's never going to bring me any presents. I'm going to get a lump of coal underneath my pillow and mistletoe. Hi, it's Timmy Joe making videos about computers on the internet. Santa's coming for me. He's bringing me presents. I wasn't a bad boy. I made some little tiny mistakes in my last video that we're going to rectify right now. But doesn't mean that I was totally wrong or anything. Okay, uh, I made a video about Xeons. Here it is. Xeon X5650. Uh, it's a 6-core, 12-threaded processor, and with the right motherboard, uh, it's still a competitor for a good gaming PC, good productivity PC, even at the end of 2017. Seven years after its conception! Yeah, anyways, but uh, I was comparing against the 1600, and I was using these guys, which was severely bottlenecking the results. So, I feel bad about it, and the Xeon will live on as one of the best budget options. If you're a tinkerer, if you've got, you know, if you happen upon one of these motherboards, they're kind of uh, hard to find, you know, and what have you. But if you do the right things, you could get a similar computer to a Ryzen 1600 with a good motherboard and decent RAM for half the price. So let's explain what I did to rectify the things and stuff. So, yeah, as we see on the, the video, lots of people, you know, cheap, you bottleneck much, stupid Timmy Joe, way to go. S received a fair bit of uh, views, though. So that's why you know, I'm a man of my word. I like to check this stuff out. If I've, you know, someone's pointed something out that I've done wrong, let's figure it out. And, you know, if I can, you know, prove myself right or wrong, whatever, we'll figure it out. So uh, I ran some more benchmarks and I did it with -ha! this. Unfortunately, I don't have very many v good video cards right now. Uh, that's why I use these, uh, you know, and uh, I don't have a Ryzen 1600 either. I was using my Ryzen 1700 and taking two cores away. I'll admit that, but it's the same thing as a 1600. I just happen to have a Ryzen 5 box. So let's get that out of the way, okay? We're also going to talk thermals. We're also going to talk, you know, general performance and what have you. But I use this because my 1070 is in a liquid blue. I almost pulled it out of the loop. To do more testing but that would have been silly for such a silly thing because if you know what if you're gonna buy one of these xeon platforms you're not buying a 1070 necessarily or 1080 1080 ti vega 64 you're probably using some not budget video card you found and that's one like this this is a uh, gtx 970 and i overclocked the crap out of it Okay, to basically make it about on par with a GTX 1063 gigabyte edition or RX 584 gigabyte edition. Okay, stock. Okay, so I overclocked this to about 1500 megahertz on the core. The RAM was just through the roof. And uh, I would proclaim this to be pretty much what you'd be using even in a Ryzen 1600. I'm, you know, I'm not, if, if you're a true gamer, you're probably going Intel if you're buying a 1070 or beyond. That's my opinion. I could be wrong, but if you're buying the 1600, you're almost CPU limiting yourself anyways. So pff, regardless. So I figured out the, the bottleneck and I did some more testing. I got Ashes of the Singularity. I ran a CPU benchmark with the uh, 970 on the Xeon platform and in the Ryzen platform. And we see here that it does, you know, 18 FPS better in the CPU benchmark running Vulkan at uh, almost the highest graphics you can go in that game. So there's, you know, there's your CPU bottleneck right there eliminated or your GPU bottleneck and showing the true colors. Yes, the Ryzen is faster, but it's not that much faster if we just run the benchmark regular it gets pretty much the same result uh you know if we run uh tomb raider at 720p uh which would eliminate the gpu bottleneck it's pretty close you know we're within nine eight fps so i don't know why y'all had such a big problem with it but i guess i had to just kind of prove it so uh, a couple other things i did i re-ran fire strike we see here that with the 970, uh, you know, we're, we're getting uh, pretty much on par results with the, you know, total score. But the physics, of course, is about 3,500 3, off, which would make sense. I also ran some power uh, benchmarks, like I, what, the wattage coming from the wall. 
This thing sucks about 100 more watts at load than the Ryzen will. It's about 220 versus 320 watts. And at idle, the Ryzen's a little bit better too. Because to achieve max overclocks on this, you kind of got to get rid of the C-states and stuff like that. The C-states. So, yes. In conclusion, you can do much better buying a brand new platform with DDR4 memory. Twice as fast, by the way. And it's still kept up. This is 1600 speed. 3200 speed. They're pretty damn close. But... If you're a tinkerer, and I was saying more if you've happened upon these parts, because this motherboard is hard to find, this is a, just a smoking productivity rig, a gaming rig, and it'll still keep up with a Ryzen platform that's seven years newer, or six years newer-ish. Uh, and I think my point was proven. But getting rid of the GPU bottleneck was a very good idea, and I wish I could go even further with that. But I think, you know, I proved that, yes, the you know, the, the CPU will be a little bit worse in most applications. But in the end, my conclusion is 1080p, high to very high settings, you can achieve 60 FPS uh, with both platforms with this graphics card. So unless you're a high refresh rate gamer, which you probably would want to get a better CPU anyways, unless you ha want to play 1440p or 4K, which you probably want to get a better GPU and CPU anyways, uh, this is just going to do just fine. They're within three FPS of each other once we really push the, you know, the limits on this thing at high or very high settings. The only one that I couldn't go very high on was Deus Ex Mankind Divided to get 60 because it's a crazy game for uh, the, the graphics and stuff. So I'm at Watch Timmy Joe on Instagram and Twitter. I think my point remains that, uh, you know what, these are very similarly specced platforms considering the seven year age gap. And I was just having a bit of fun, you know, kind of proving that this Xeon platform is a really cool way to go. You know, if you get the motherboard for 100 bucks, 150 bucks, the CPU is $30. And you can find a decent, like I've even got ECC memory in here that I'm pretty sure at one point cost me like 45 bucks. Uh, I don't even have the Corsair Vengeance in there. It was still working just as good. Uh, then you can get a pretty smoking little PC. And maybe that won't be your best enthusiast, you know, up you know future proofing upgrade path and it's not going to be you know as good as ryzen ryzen has a lot more you know on the table it has a freaking th th this still has a text-based uh bios for god's sakes of course it's not great but it still has usb3 still has really fast pcie lanes still has uh the fast sata 60 gigabit a second sata and it's just hold its own for seven years later so i wish you guys a merry christmas I'll stop blathering. I'm just a man of my word. And with all these people watching my videos lately, I want to make sure that you know that if you bring something, a valid point up, I will test, you know, I'll retest. I'll do things. I'll make sure I know what I'm talking about. Because in the end, I love computers. I love talking about them on the internet. And 2018 is going to be a hell of a fun ride here now that we're north of uh, 20,000 subscribers. So I'm not watching me join Instagram and Twitter. I wish you guys a very Merry Christmas. Eliminating the bottleneck for you here on Christmas Eve. I hope Santa's good to you and I hope that he brings me presents considering I was such a bad boy in my last video. Bye. <laughs> I work at Burger King making flavor whoppers. I wear paper hats. Would you like an apple pie with that? Would you like an apple pie with that? Ding, fries are done. Ding, fries are done. Ding, fries are done. Ding, fries are done. I gotta run. I gotta run. I gotta run. I gotta run. Don't buffer fries and hot fat. It really hurt bad and so do skin grab. Would you like an apple pie with that? Would you like an apple pie with that? Where is the bell? Wait for the bell. Can't hear the bell. Where is the bell? Ding, fries are done. Ding, fries are done. Ding, fries are done. Ding, fries are done. I was a Burger King making paper whoppers. I wear paper hats. Would you like an apple pie with that? Would you like an apple pie with that? Ding, fries are done. Ding, fries are done. Ding, fries are done. Ding, fries are done.